The, the next thing what is new is a circle on a torus and circle on a sphere. Maybe you already know the circle on a cone. It's almost the same. I will show you both uh, very quick. First, let's create a theoretical sphere with any diameter, maybe 30. Here, that's our sphere. And let's say we want to measure a circle on that sphere. And the next step is the, the, the a circle on a torus. Why do I want to measure a circle on a sphere or circle on a torus? It's because the new form package. Maybe you already know that we have the Prismo Ultra and the, the Xenos with uh, a very, very high accuracy when you work with the new rotary table RTAB, then you can buy the form package where the new form cookbook is included. And then can you measure with the same or a higher accuracy than a form tester actually. And that's why we need these two new features, circle on a sphere and circle on a torus. So you will find these new features here at features special, special geometries as well as the circle on a cone. This is the old one in here, circle on a sphere. And if you would measure the circle exactly on the equator, of course, then you also can take just a circle. It's a circle on exactly on the equator, that's no problem. This is really just a circle. But let's say that we translate this circle centrum a little bit. Then of course, if I translate it in, in, in C, maybe two or three millimeters higher, then the diameter must be smaller. And, this can, and, and the vector direction of the probing points is different. And this can be done with this icon. You maybe already know the icon in a circle on a cone or in the cone itself. And you can do it here now. I want to measure two millimeters higher. Then you can see the new diameter calculation also in here. And you see the distance. Uh, you can see a sphere height. It's actually the delta. This sphere height here is the delta between the, circ the new circle syndrome and the theoretical sphere syndrome. Yeah? So the circle is two millimeters higher than the sphere. That's why the sphere height is minus two. I want to do the same thing again with a torus. You, you do not need the sphere or the torus. I, I just want to create them theoretically then you can see it much better. That's why I create this torus quick with any ring radius and the small radius maybe is 10 because then it's easier to imagine the whole thing. So what you need is the feature circle on a torus. Uh, here it is. And the ring radius, remember, is the centrum here. This is the ring radius or the ring diameter, which is 50. That And the, uh, the small diameter was 10. So that means the whole diameter around the whole torus is 60 <clears throat> in this example. Like this. I think that we also can call this equator of the torus. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. So let's say this is called a equator. If you, we would measure here, then we can do this with a circle, of course. But let's work with translation one more time. And I will, I will forget one setting. And I want to do that. First, I want to do it wrong because I don't want you to do the same mistake like me. Um, as I started to explain the circle on the torus. What I did was I just added 
the C value. Again, maybe two millimeters higher and enter. And then you can see the new diameter is zero. Of course, that makes no sense. Huh? Something is wrong. I cannot do that. If you say, okay, the diameter is zero now, that makes no sense. Because what I forgot is this value, the torus diameter. That's why I want to do it one more time. And I want to explain this value. Let's take the circle on a torus one more time. We want to measure exact on the exactly on the egg, <laughs> sorry, equator first. Then we have this one. Important for us is Calypso wants, we want to translate this circle on a torus. Then we have to, and usually there is no torus, there's just a circle. Then Calypso needs the information uh, of the ring diameter of the real torus. It's in this example, 50. Do you remember that? This ring diameter around here is 50 plus five millimeters here and five millimeters here then we have the 60. So don't forget to edit the torus diameter and then of course you can translate it and the new diameter will be calculated. And I forgot that I did not know that this value must be added the first time. That's why I wanted to inform you about that 